My name is Grania Maher. My business is Grania Maher Millinery. I make a range of headwear, hats, fascinators, and I've recently started doing a jewellery collection as well. I applied for the Creative Industries Innovation Fund to cover primarily a range of business startup costs. So that would have included a range of millinery equipment and materials. Um, I was also able to afford a fantastic website and uh, to get the content for that website I organised a range of um, first class photo shoots using you know, really good photographers, professional models, makeup artists and hairdressers, that kind of thing to really you know, set my product off on a first class of a glossy magazine kind of finish. I also was able to cover a few um, extra training courses for myself in, in further millinery skills and uh, you know it was absolutely invaluable to me um, to, to hit the ground running and get the business off the ground. I think uh, my project was innovative um, because basically I was taking the traditional craft of millinery and bringing it to a new younger audience. Um, my market base would be a younger sort of fashion focused client and uh, I think that the products themselves that I was making were um, funky and um, edgy kind of things rather than sort of mumsy hats or whatever that you would have seen in the past. The SIF scheme has had a huge impact on my business. Really without it um, I wouldn't have been able to cover the ground that I have in this short space of two years. Um, it's really given me a huge platform to promote my products and to reach out to new exciting audiences. I think that something like the SIF scheme is really important because it is dealing primarily with creative industries and there aren't really any other grant awards that I'm aware of anyway that are dealing with purely the creative industry sector. Well, I have quite a few plans for the future and ways to sort of grow the business. I'd really like to get a few members of staff on board. Um, I have a few students lined up actually already to come and do their placement year with me. Um, so ideally I'd love to be able to pay them a proper wage and a salary and you know, get a little mini manufacturing plant going if you like in terms of making hats and stuff. I'd like to be able to sell my stuff in wholesale prices into boutiques, you know, not just do the bespoke service that I'm doing. I have uh, high ambitions and uh, certainly with the help of this stuff and other grants that may be available in the future, um, hopefully I'll be able to achieve that.